So hello fellow Earthlings, this is Earthling 6455463728 and I wanted to talk about Joe Rogan's guest, Alan Levino, Levinowitz or Witz. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I think I got that mixed up. Yeah, so it's Levinowitz and um, it was an interesting conversation. He wrote a book, I think, where he went in with the idea, I think, that that he was going to blow the lid off of uh, these natural, the idea that everything for you, that everything is natural is good for you, I think his angle was. But along the way, he found out that, I guess, life is very nuanced. And that was the word of the day on uh, that podcast, uh, nuanced, 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 which is good um, because many things are nuanced and there are some things I think that are just black and white. I'm not going to give any examples, but I think that one rule that I found is that everything has an exception, even this rule. So as a rule, everything has an exception, even this rule which is that some rules don't have an exception. So there's always, I think, an occasion where things are not nuanced. Like, for example, if something is trying to kill you, maybe you should kill it most of the time. Anyway, apparently he learned a lot when he was writing his book. And the two things that really um, piqued my interest, one is that, um, strange enough, um, Joe Rogan does not believe in chiropractors at all. Now I say strange enough because I think Joe Rogan believes in some unusual stuff. Um, I think a lot of that has changed like with respect to aliens and conspiracy theories. I think he said that that happened when he went on a, uh, he did a series for about conspiracies and he realized that it was conspiracy theories, theorists, sorry, are often a lot of, um, unmarried men um i think he called them uneffable in a joke in a a joke that he made about it and i think that turned his mind around with respect to a lot of different conspiracy ideas but it was interesting to hear him just literally say that chiropractic is you know crap and his experience where he actually did go to a chiropractor um, who insisted that he did not have a slip disc when I think he eventually did. Um, and he was talking to, he was talking to one person, um, a chiropractor, yeah, chiropractic, chiropractic, Jesus, a chiropractor, uh, I think it was. And the person, you know, as he kept insisting, how is it that you pressing me affects this or that or the other? And he just kept asking and asking and asking. And the guy just basically said, hey, it's a placebo effect. If you believe it, it works. And he was like, you know, upset. And he said it was a tense conversation that he had with the guy. And this seems emblematic of, you know, conversations that he has actually with some of the people that he has on the show sometimes. He will challenge people on the show to say no that's not true um don't say that 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 doesn't make any sense or he will question you know from time to time and that's interesting because there was um this same guy alan levinovitz and um he was saying kind of the opposite at the moment that joe rogan he remembered an incident where joe rogan and his friends course whoever he had on they were um, talking about a particular person and at one point Joe Rogan stopped and he said you know what I think we're um, really making fun of this guy we might be bullying this guy and he stopped and it impressed the guy um, maybe there's a distinction between challenging people and um, making fun of them and you know one is better than the other Anyway, one of the things that they agreed on, I think, was that 
it's better to be kind than to be truthful, I think is what um, Alan came back to a number of times. And he said that, you know, like, they gave the example of an old lady, Joe Rogan gave the example of an old lady where, you know, you just tell her, yeah, he looked nice or whatever the case might be. And and for me, I don't know, I don't think that that's good. For example, um, I remember Jeff Bezos, and I, I mentioned this before, Jeff Bezos said that uh, um, when he was a kid, his grandma smoked a lot. And he heard on the news that smoking takes off a certain amount of minutes off of your life. And he added it up and he told, he proclaimed to his grandmother that, hey, you know, in the time that you've been in the car, you've taken off however many years off of your life based on the amount of number of cigarettes that you smoked. And he said that she burst into tears and his grandfather was upset. And his grandfather was basically of the attitude, you know, when he got to talk to him alone, that it's better to be kind than to be right or to be truthful or something like that. And I don't see how that makes any sense in that case that Jeff Bezos was given. Because you're just postponing the person's, you know, more than likely they're going to die a horrible death, whether it's COPD, compromised breathing, cancer, heart disease, um, a stroke, any number of horrible things that happen as a result of smoking just because you don't want the person to cry. So to me, it's it's a bit like if you're potty training a child or you're trying to, to discipline a child to act as a responsible adult and you don't want to do what needs to be done um, because you don't want to hurt the child's feelings and they grow up in, as an adult that can't fit into society properly, that has problems for the rest of their life because you don't want to see somebody's tears or if it's just, you know, someone that you're not interested in, really, or you, you need to break up with someone and you lie to them and you stay in the relationship or you, you lie to them and give them a different reason for why you broke up with them to spare their feelings. Like, you know, if you look at somebody, if there's something that you can do, I think absolutely you do it. Maybe you break it to them gently. I personally have had people tell me that, you know, at different times in my life, oh, your breath kind of smells. Oh, oh, um, yeah this or that or something on your face or something and yeah you feel bad at the time but you're grateful that you don't have to look like that in front of the rest of people that you have to see for the rest of the day because somebody had the balls to tell you something that might have hurt your feelings but it changes your life i radically disagree with um i think that i am chicken I know I'm absolutely chicken when it comes to telling people the truth. Um, I have had a couple instances in my life where I look back on and I say, yeah, I definitely did the right thing there. It was tough, but I told the person the truth and I helped them and I settled a situation I could have dragged on, um, an uncomfortable situation. But there are so many other situations where I don't think I was as helpful. I remember there was a guy that I knew whose breath smelled like he had a cavity. So I put it to him like that. I said, I think you might have a cavity. I think there's a certain odor that I'm smelling. And he said, yeah, you're right. I do have a cavity and I'm trying to save up money to go to the dentist no problem of course i could have said it in a horrible way and you know ruined his like oh my god your, your breath smells so awful and i have had people approach me in that way like you know when i smoked i was embarrassed about the smell of my smoking and there have been people who you know unfortunately i know i put them in a particular situation with my second hand breath as well as 
you know, the order of me smoking a cigarette and then coming into class, there was one guy who just repeated over and over, you stink. Exactly like that. Every time he smelled me. I mean, like five minutes would pass and he'd be like, you stink. And I get it. And I'm sorry. And hopefully it dissuaded me from from uh, smoking before that class. I think that needed, I needed to be told that. So I really disagree with um, uh, Joe Rogan's guest, Alan, um, on that and Joe Rogan himself, you know. And uh, I think there's a nice way to say things that people need to hear, but they might not want to hear. So, but anyway, guys, you can wish me luck. You can like or unlike or comment you can subscribe and or share. And of course, beyond that, you can do nothing. Peace.